Well, anytime you uh, get to play the Peach Belt and a team like Georgia College, it's always a uh, tight, close game. And uh, well, it's a big win for you know teams to get that. Jamie always has a well-coached team. Uh, she, they're always so fast. And that team right there was very quick. And they just put the ball in play. And they make you have to field it well, make good throws. And it's that's just a huge win for us. Uh, broke through in the sixth inning. Uh, what sticks out to you about that little two-run play? Left some people out there. Could, probably could have done more, but uh, got the hits when it counted most. Um, for the first four innings, I was complaining about us leaving too many people on base. And I was like, you know, getting people on base is not the problem. It's uh, scoring people when we get them on base. And uh, in the fifth inning, I said, okay, we're running out of time here. You know, we're not panicking yet, but we're in the fifth inning. And then uh, we got down to the uh, sixth inning when we came in. And I said, okay, now uh, we're still not panicking, but we're really getting close on uh, time here. So we got to do something. So it was important getting the leadoff hitter on. That, that helped a lot. Uh, Taylor Scott lays down. Bunt single, Kristen Topple with the sacrifice, then uh, break down the decision to bring in Morgan Crawford for uh, a pinch hit at bat, and she drives in the tying run. Uh, she is a very strong kid. If uh, she can get the uh, meat part of the bat on it, it usually goes a long way. Um, she hasn't got a lot of bats this year, but when she has, she's uh, she's come through. And I mean, we really hadn't played her in a lot of you know hitting wise in big games yet. And I, I've, I've been meaning to get her in in some situations that just hadn't you know, come about yet, but I saw her hitting in the cages and she was just stroking the ball. And I thought, I told somebody when we were sitting there, I was like, don't let me forget about Morgan today. So. Uh, Lacey, you started this game at 2 p.m. and then had to sit for five and a half hours before you resumed because of rain. What was the mindset mentality when you came back out there to take the circle? We just knew that we had to come out and perform like we did earlier. Although we had that break, that we just had to come out on top and do what we did when we left. What's it like? I mean, you, you go back to the hotel, you, you played half an inning, you go back to the hotel. How do you stay uh, charged up and locked in uh, through that amount of time or pick it back up when it came time to come back here? Basically, just think of the game. Um, Think of things that you could do better, think of things such as spin for pitching and seeing pitches well for hitting and things like that. Uh, Taylor, a multi-hit effort for uh, you, two for three on the day, including a pivotal bunt single uh, in that sixth inning. What, what worked for you at the plate today? I was just trying to see the ball well, just put it in play to help my team, um, just get the bunt down. I knew Haley Kyle was fast, so I just tried to move her in scoring position. Uh, what's this – allow you to set the tone for tomorrow's action, staying the winning bracket? Um, no matter what team we play tomorrow, we know they're going to come out, and we just got to perform our best. Taylor, it seemed like you guys were, were getting bats on the ball, especially when they, the pitching change happened for them. It seemed like the dam was going to have to break it sometimes. It, was, it had to be frustrating for you guys to keep hitting it to them in those situations. Oh, of course. Like, we were getting runners on base. We just wanted to get them in and stuff. So, like you said, like, we were just we were hitting the ball just kind of at people, really. Uh, Lacey, uh, top at second base, an incredible game for her today. Talk about having her behind you the entire game. Oh, of course. I thought that there were going to be a couple shots in between the gaps there, and it just seems like no matter what, they were going to catch it. So that's what they did. They performed well. Uh, Graves, just touch on it one more time about the delay. I mean, there's nothing that anybody can do to control that. Uh, but you can control how you guys responded. How do you uh, sum up how this team responded to you start a game, you play 15 minutes, and then you have to go sit for five hours? Well, we've been uh, discussing here for the last several weeks that there's things that's going to happen in the course of a game that is beyond your control, or there might be something that happened that, you know, we, we didn't do something that we could have done. And uh, <clears throat> we can't let those things get to us. And the rain delay is just a, it's a, something else that you couldn't happen or help to happen. So, you know, I think we've gotten to the point where we're not letting little things that bothered us, you know, get to us the way they did earlier in the year.